I also spoke to a retired Austin police officer tonight and asked him to watch the newly released Mike Ramos video and weigh in on what he saw. Jerry Staten was with APD for 25 years and has now spent more than two decades as a use of force expert who trains police officers. Staten told me video never tells the full story. He said in the Ramos case, we as viewers do not know what information officers knew about Ramos in addition to the 911 caller saying he had a gun. I've been there in enough of those situations to know that as these situations drag out, you don't become more relaxed if the, if the person that you're trying to get to comply is not fully complying, and he was not. Uh, it particularly started to escalate when he started moving back towards the car, getting behind the door, moving like he was going to get into the car. As far as accepting his, uh, his statement that he's not armed, they should have been at that point fairly certain that he didn't have a gun on his person. Not absolutely certain, but fairly certain. Um, but they had no idea what he had in the car. Ultimately, Staten said he does not have enough information to make a call on whether this was reasonable use of force or not. This case will not go before a grand jury until next year. That's because Travis County District Attorney Margaret Moore said the next DA should oversee the case. She lost to Jose Garza in the Democratic primary runoff.